Welcome back everybody, I am Headwoon and this is In Game with Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Unleashed and this is episode number 6 and we're going to actually have a specific subject to this episode. We're going to do Mistcraft and we're specifically going to do designing and building your own age. Now, uh, hey, do you like my hat? Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome, you know, but you know, I can't wear it all the time. Well, I, I can wear it all the time, but uh, let's go ahead and put my safety equipment back on and see how it, I think it actually looks better with the helmet. I think it actually does. And I've been doing a few things. I've got my, you know, uh, I found some things while I was going around and I found a pickaxe of the core. I found a sword of Zephyr and I was able to actually use enchanting plus to actually apply new enchants to and above what cha uh, enchantments these already have. Now I can't tell you what these specifically are. If I hold the shift key there's some little symbols that appear. There's a little fire symbol, um, a like repair symbol, a ore symbol, a magic symbol, and I'm not sure what these symbols actually indicate. Um, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. This one actually, if I equip my sword, I do like this. It actually creates like a a a wave of impenetrability around me. And one thing that's really nice about the way I've got these going, see how my sword actually down at the bottom of the screen, how it has that green line, and suddenly it doesn't? That's because I've got repair. And I actually, yeah, I got repair on both of these. So no matter how much I use these and, 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 and kill enemies and use their little powers, uh, they'll repair themselves. And I, you know, will never have to use any other type of thing and again. So... Uh, what I've been doing, and this is actually new from the last time. Oh, I'm actually running a little bit faster than I like during game. Um, so I've done some redesigning. I've actually done some rebuilding, some different things. But uh, th I created this. This is going to be my mist craft room. It's also become, you know, my new sleeping quarters, although it's very barren. I'm still missing, I'm missing two pieces of you know, stone for the ceiling, but I guess I could have gotten it from that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. These little lights right here that you're seeing actually come from the Power Fist light inclusion. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, so what we got here, I've got a writing table. Let's see, I think this is called a writing desk. I'm going to make sure I get these right so I don't give you guys the misinformation. So that's the writing desk. And the writing desk is actually two blocks. And when you place it, you place it like here and it spans over two blocks in whatever direction you're, you know, want it to go. And inside here goes, you can put paper in here and you put ink vials in the other side. Now an ink vial is made from and I should actually I shouldn't go into the recipes too much, but it's made from water bottles and ink sacks. And so that gets in there. It fills up this ink reservoir, and you can keep a whole bunch of bio, uh, bottles in here or vials, and it will just keep on refilling. Now, there's these little symbols over here, right here. This these symbols mean absolutely nothing in the context of what they're being here. They might be numeral symbols, but you know. I don't really care. The important thing is this. This is a notebook. Now, never mind the actual name because when you create a notebook, okay, notebook. So, notebook meaning three pieces of leather. It gives you a notebook. A notebook has no name whatsoever. What you're doing is you're storing the symbols that represent the different. Uh, biomes, the controllers, celestial bodies, the features, lighting, uh, OMG, uh, it is just happened to be like spontaneous explosions or meteorites or anything like that. Uh, I'm putting that in that book. And I created a whole bunch of notebooks and by you know just putting them over here I can actually name them and I can rename them if I want to. 
So, and I just put them here, and I put them in order. There's a website that I'll have in the description that will actually go through all of these categories. It will go through uh, um, what they actually do, each one, and some length of how to put them together. Now, there are other videos on how to put things together and how to, in order to make an age, but we're not going to go over that right now. Okay, so you need a writing desk, you need notebooks, you need paper, you need ink bottles, you need a lot of ink vials. Now we come over to this machine. This is an ink, uh, let's see, I think it's an ink, um, ink mixer. And what this requires is ink vials and paper. This creates a link panel. Now, a link panel is required in order to make a descriptive book, and a descriptive book is how is what you need to travel to other ages. A link panel is also necessary for you to create the linking book that will bring you back to your own world. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these pages because I know I need one for the descriptive book, one for the one coming home. Over here, uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do. Oh, okay. First off, I need a piece of leather. This is how you create a linking book: one piece of leather, one linking panel. There's an unlinked link book. Okay, guys, I can't tell you how important or emphasize how important this book actually is. If you're going to mess around with miscraft and go to different ages, if you don't have one of these books, you will never make it back. Or if you are very lucky, you will end up in an age where you will be able to find a fissure, and a fissure is a big crack in the ground and it spans pretty good. Um, where you drop down and at the end instead of bedrock is a basically a portal back into your own universe. But I know many people who've gone to other ages and forgot a linking book or something happened to it or they died and they lost it and they were never, never able to come back and they basically had to start all over again or make a house and make up a living wherever they spawned. But there are certain worlds that you can't do that. Certain worlds where you don't have any trees. How the hell are you going to do anything without any trees? Anyways, so enough of that. So once you have this, put it in your hand and face any direction. Any direction at all. And wherever you are going to right click on this book is where you will come back to when you're done with this new world. So bam! I now have a linking book. Now Again, see these things right here? These stands, these are very important also. A stand will keep your book safe once you get to a new age. So I'm going to bring one stand with me, and I'm going to take this out of that spot. OK, so now let's go ahead and look over the different things that we can do. Now, from what I remember, you put the biomes first, and I think there were a couple that I was looking for. And oh, uh, you will find. Uh, let's do this real quick. Okay, you uh, to create a book. This is all you have to do, and you can do this just to get started. This is the best way to just get started. Don't worry about the pages that I have. I've worked at different ages and gone through different ages and found little temples that contained the pages, brought them back home, and then started sorting them into the notebook. But this is how you actually create your first descriptive book. Don't worry. The system. Um, I don't know. Can do? Can I specify? Okay, I'm not going to do it right now. I don't know which Mistcraft version I am using right now, and I'm not going to. Oh, actually, you know, I can look for it. I think it's 0 
one zero point five. Okay, there you go. So, anyways, I got leather in this square right here. Oh, what is this? You're probably asking. Um, this is. Let's see what this is. Book. Okay, this is a book binder. Book binders are really easy. You know, iron and some planks. Okay, and it creates this. Take your leather, take a full stack, put it in here. You're good to go. You don't need any ink. You don't need anything else. All you need is a leather and a link panel page. Bing. This gives you your first descriptive book. Go ahead and take it out. Now, preferably what you want to do is you want to have stands available in wherever you're going to start from. Take your book out, put it in your hand, bam, put it on a stand like that. You can also, let me just do this just as an example. If I don't want to like put it on there directly, I can just you know click on the stand. It has a space for it. There you go. This black window is where you start. This is how to get to the age that you indicated. Don't mind that it says this number. This is an incremental number of, I believe, the number of panels that you have created. So you, let's say you create a panel, but use it as a linking book, and then you create another panel, and you, just, and you create the descriptive book. Your age will probably be numbered 2. And so it will incrementally increase with each panel that you create, I'm assuming, because each one of the numbers has appeared differently. So let's go ahead and go to this age. Now, when you load this new age, it's going to turn like this. It's going to look all weird, and you're, none of your items are going to show up, and you're going to be like, oh my god, what if this, this, the system's going to crash, I'm going to be in you know, oblivion, and I'm going to be dead, and that's the end of me and all my stuff, and holy crap, what am I doing now? Well, there are some times... <laughs> And I hope to God this is not one of those times where you get stuck some... Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's try to get it. This will happen occasionally. Hopefully... Okay, I'm safe. Okay. Whew. Oh. Okay, so nothing has killed me as of yet. Um, this is a very bizarre world. It looks like it has this... I don't know what the hell this is. Um, blue darkness. I think I might have my night vision on. That might be why things are kind of tripping out. But uh, let's see, what is this? This is an enchanted forest. This is where I have spawned. Now, typically, this is what I do with a new age. And typically, I actually have something that will, you know, I can work with. But for right now, we're just going to. Don't you love this? That I love the power fist with the enhancement of you know fast digging and shovels and all that stuff. Okay, and I've and I've got my oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh I oh I see you. Hold on. No 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 no. Watch this. I see, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your hat. I'm gonna take a yeah. I took your oh. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, so now what I'm doing basically is I'm creating I'm tra I'm creating something uh, so that my book will not be damaged by any type of weather. So my weather will not oh wait, the weather of this area, whatever it's going to be, whether it's going to be rain, snow, you know, whatever. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, that's good enough for right now. Oh, forgot. If you have Feed the Beast Unleashed, do this. You know, I say, I just need way, way home. Bam. So I've got my waypoint. I'll know where I need to go in order to get back home. I also will put now put down the, st the stand. And I put it right next to the pillar, so I'll know that it's going to be safe. And this is the linking book back home. If I want to go back home, all I do is click in this blue window, and then bam, I'm back home. 
by being on a stand, this book should not be damaged. By being undercover, it should not be damaged. With the exception of an exploding world or a meteor world where all types of hell is going to break loose. Um, so let's take a look around. So now, actually, I have a portal gun. I was lucky enough, actually not lucky enough, I never found one in this in this game. So I actually had to create one. And that was a bitch. Because I had to go to the nether. I had to uh, kill a whole bunch of those black skeletons until I had three wither skulls and then I created soul I got soul sand and created a wither and died once while trying to kill him but was able I had enough materials at home I recreated stuff anyways I ended up killing him got a uh, a star from him nether star or whatever it's called and created the the portal gun from that so was very lucky in that all right let's take a look around so this is very odd this is not a normal color type of world and okay so this is enchanted forest let's go ahead and, okay so this is ice plains ooh sorry about the whole wavy wavy thing whoa that's trippy uh, let me see uh, you know let me see if I I'm gonna turn off my night vision oh my hotkey's not working for my night vision okay and also it doesn't look like it's refreshing the chunks correctly all right well let's go boy does it ever not want to refresh okay I've got some you know tall mistcraft trees going on holy mackerel is this world kind of messed up um, anyways so um, gosh darn it this is not the way I wanted to introduce a new age by having something that was this wonky now what is nice is that this if there there is a good chance when you create an age that it will be unstable and unstable means that there's weirdness throughout the coloring happens to be messed up in this universe probably the night and day is messed up and uh, you know a whole bunch of other things but because of those things being messed up this world is also stable in that there's no explosions you know there's not uh, random meteorites there's not sickness or eternal hunger or poison and those different effects will actually show up in this area it will say like uh, hunger or fatigue or mining fatigue or whatever uh, different things but the different things will occur as you join into certain ages wow this is so messed up this chunks are just really just not loading I might have to just disconnect and reconnect really quick just to be safe you know what I am and disconnect real quick reconnect real quick hopefully things load up I'm gonna quit some of these browsers that I've got open in the background. Ooh, I, oh, you know, oh, that's right. Oh, look what I found. I found me a spider den and a miscraft tree. Look at that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use my power wrench. Ding! And suck that up. And sorry, guys, I'm gonna really quickly kill this guy. There is a. a Another one down there, but I can hear him. There he is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> wow, punched the tree and a whole tree came down. Um, I'm sure I'll put. Oh wait, I don't want to put that in there. Put that in there. Put all this junk in there. Put that in there, and use my power wrench and bling. And the way that I do that is with uh, shift right clicking and that will actually you know absorb it now this is this is really a bad age to be in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a different age that I know is a lot more oh wait a minute actually it's kinda loading okay 
if it keeps on loading into chunks like this, I think we'll be safe and we'll start wandering around a little bit. And any world that you go into, now, I have the ability to fly because of my jetpack, and I know that seems like, you know, kind of a cheating way to get around, but it's incredibly useful when you go to new ages and you're checking things out and you want to make sure that things are safe. Wow, things are just like incredibly. Okay. Wow. Okay, because of the way this is loading, I'm just going to go ahead and go back and we're going to go to another age that I that I've already, you know, been to and know is pretty reliable. Okay, so I just click on that window and but dang there we go. Wonderful. I am back in my own world. I go ahead and put that down so I can get back to it the next time. Now again, and I can't stress this enough, I may be going to a world that I've already created, but there is no way in hell I am going to go to a world without having a linking book. Ever. Don't do it guys. Just don't do it. Okay, so we are going to go here, and I've actually set up, so this is the 31st uh, age that I have created where things are kind of, they're all right. Okay, and this age has crystal formations, and I actually created this, it became a little bit unstable. I don't think it has any negative effects as far as me and you can see it doesn't have any negative effects but what it does do and this is kind of funny is that random you know animals and mobs will actually burn would actually catch on fire and I don't know why so this actually is one of the first ages that I actually created and I put a quarry in here because I thought you know this would be awesome and I'll show you why it's awesome Actually, let me find, the, okay, one of these guys. So it has floating orbs. And guys, once, you, once I land in here, look at this. This is a giant gold ore. I mean, this is, this is, it, it, this is like massive score of gold. I mean, I could just sit here and just do this. So because of this, <laughs> I'll just get, and as I talk on my, you can see, oh, perfect. That's exactly the building I wanted to see. So whenever you go to a new age, you're going to find random things, fissures. You're going to find formations. You're going to find odd areas of land. This is actually a thinned pasture that I'm in right now. And these wonderful flo floating orbs of goodness, goldness. And if you know that if you find one of these and you have a minion stone, you are rich because it takes four gold to make a diamond with a minion stone. So you basically, oh, I don't have an example here, but if, you, if this was six squares, you'd put the minion stone in the corner, you put gold, 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 and then gold right below it, gold ingots, I should say, and you get a diamond. If you have a uh, pulverizer, each one of these becomes two gold dust. So that's 14 gold dust, which in turn makes 14 gold ingots, which in turn is going to make three diamonds just from that. So, oh, actually, oh my god, I have 64. That's a lot of diamonds, my friend. That's a lot of diamonds. So, anyways, let's go here. I can show you this little crystal formations. We're going to go ahead and smash a couple of these. And they smash like glass. It actually smash quicker than glass. And we're going to get to this area. Oh, hey, look at look who's here. Let's go pow, 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 pow. Okay, kill them. All right. So these are just crystals. I have yet to really know what crystals are used for. Now, there is a front door down here, but I don't want to go in the front door. Not because it's booby trapped or anything. It's just because I like to do this with each world that I 
find new or if I destroy the top of one of these buildings. So therefore I know that I've already been here. I've already searched through this one. And this is what you find. You find a room of books. Now, books are great for um, enchanting, like putting enchants on, saving them for later, and making bookshelves, and making things look kind of cool in a, in a library. Um, but you notice what I found behind the bookshelf? Yes, a hidden chest of symbols. Now, whenever I find it, I put all the biomes in the front, front, and I put anything else that's not a biome. And you'll notice that each one of these say something biome, something biome. Anything that doesn't say something biome is a modifier of some sort or you know a different value. Now, you can also take these. These are kind of cool. Come on. There. Oh, I punched a hole in the wall. But you'll find another a couple of pages on these, and there's a garden biome. There is a bright lighting. Oh, that's actually good. That means that if you go into a, a world, you can guarantee that you don't have to be in the dark ever. Mobs will still spawn in regular cycles, so if you have a normal sun and a normal moon pattern during the moon pattern even if you have this normal light or uh, even if you have that bright lighting mobs will still spawn you gotta be careful with that okay so lava blocks Oop, I can hear squishy outside that's why I call the those guys uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this in there throw that in there actually I gotta put my there we go and use this here Brilliant. Okay. Now, so this is an age that I created that I just loved for the fact that it had these gold orbs in it. And by searching around in a different age, you're going to find those little uh, those little temples. Take the book. I mean, take the uh, the pages. Those pages are invaluable for creating future worlds or future ages for Mistcraft. Why the hell is my thing not loading? Okay, let's just fall down and see if it will load when I get closer to it. Okay. Um, where is my... Oh, there it is. Just, just, I just passed it. <laughs> it looks like the guy died when I was going past. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back home. And I'll show you a little bit about the notebooks. Okay, again, brilliantly. And I didn't have to use my... Didn't have to use my linking book, thank goodness, because I had already had one, and so I was good to go. Now let's go ahead and plop this down right over here. Bing. And I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this other lectern right there on top. I like that. It just looks cool. Uh, let's see, I got a pig spawner. Ugh, pig spawners. Whatever. Okay, and I got a number of pages. So I just take these out. And I click on the writing table. Now, what I'm going to do first, you can do two things. You can select the different panel, which then shows you all of the different stuff. And I'll show you how to do this. I just right click and click on there. And it places, you can see it kind of overlaps and even says desert garden and garden, whatever. If you want to sort everything alphabetically, middle mouse click. That sorts everything nicely. So we're going to go ahead and put these uh, beach biome, mountain biome, and right click. Okay, so now we got controllers. Controllers are biome sizes or different biome types. Celestials are stars, moon, and sun. Doesn't matter what it actually says. Uh, so let's see, sunset color. Bright lighting. Okay, so that's for lighting. We've got features. Features are crystal formations, dungeons. So there we go, dungeons. They go in here, sort them alphabetically. Uh, lighting. We got normal lighting. Now we have bright lighting. Cool. Okay. And center click. 
We've got uh, sun, color, and lava block. Uh, let's see, the sun set color. OK, so we've got terrain. That's like an island world. Got visuals. These are the different color settings. So we can change the water color, grass color, foliage color, cloud color, fog color, you know, and the sunset color. Nice. That's a new one. We've got weather, so you can set it eternal rain, eternal snow, fast weather, no weather, which is awesome. And let's see. Oh, I, f I darn it. I got to put this one in here. Oh, so let's say I, I actually have the weather symbol selected the, in the book. If I'm not in the book, I can still just drop this in there, right on there, and it will add it to the very bottom. There you go. I still want to sort these, so I'll just go ahead and sort it. Now, let's see. So we've got weather. We've got colors. So colors, black, blue, cyan, green, magenta, yellow, red, a whole bunch of stuff. Directions, north, south, west. I'm uh, missing east. Gradient, there's one page that's actually called gradient. And so that you, it's a modifier that you can use with two colors. So you say, uh, you put the colors down first, so you go red, blue, gradient. And so you put them in that order. Lengths happen to do with double length, full length. This happens to do with the, um, the rising and setting of the sun or the moon. You can actually apply that. Materials, I have yet to find one. Now, liquids are things that can modify what liquids are within the world. So if I want to replace all the water in the world with lava, I can, you know, add lava. In fact, yeah, that's right. So I can add lava. If I want to replace everything with oil, I can do that. I have water, I can do that. Or I can have no seas. The same thing with solids. Solids are dirt, gold ore. Hallelujah, that's how I created those orbs. Um, so I create it, I did gold block, and then after the gold block, I put um, spheres. So it made gold block spheres. Pretty damn cool. So now with terrains, I can create a, a void world. Don't really want that. Uh, although that would be interesting for, like, if you were creating a world for somebody to have some fun with, you know, tryouts and stuff. Crystals are different crystal formations. Uh, ores. Actually, this is incorrect. This should have been wood. And this is like the the liquids and the solids, but it should have been wood. Phases are phases. Uh, nadir, I think, is like sunset or something like that. Or uh, midnight, something like that. And then setting is a way to apply certain modifiers that I have yet to actually learn about. And then specials, there is one called clear modifiers. If you are creating now in 1 point, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and above, I believe that they fixed it so that if you apply bad modifiers and different things, that it will clean it up so you don't end up in a world that's like completely you know, something wrong and it actually breaks the game. By, but if you're going to create a world, find this if you can and add it to the end of the age. This will clear up any bad modifiers that you have. So for example, a bad modifier, and I'm reaching the end of my time limit for this video. Let's say I choose a tile biome. Well, a tile is two sets of biomes. So if I put in one biome and then put tiled biome after it, theoretically, it will break the age. But by putting clear modifiers, it will actually insert a second age randomly as the second tile. Or let's say I put three tile or three biomes and I put tiled age, it will actually remove one or I think it might actually remove all three and then replace it with two random. Excuse me. Large biomes, 
and small biomes, and there's also tiny and medium, I believe. Each one of these requires three or more biomes to be inserted. So you first you're going to put your three biomes, then you're going to put your biome controller. You need uh, one moon, one sun, and one star symbol. Dark means no moon or no sun. Uh, Ender star field means that it just has, you know, the star field all around everything. Normal moon is normal moon, normal stars, normal sun. Those are all great to have. You, this is really a great thing to have for celestials. Features, um, and you can see, you can include different things. Surface lakes is kind of cool. Uh, terrain, island world. This is this is. I hate this one because this basically creates like an end world where it's just an island and there's nothing else. It's pretty worthless. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Uh, visuals, so we got colors and different things. Uh, weather, eternal, anyways, you get the idea. So that is how to create a world or create an age, how to create a linking book back to your age, um, how to use the notebooks, guys, don't use the don't take one of these books, the descriptive books, and put it in here and think that you're going to be able to add pages to it. It won't work. You can't add pages to descriptive books. You can only add pages to notebooks. Or, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can only add them to notebooks. So don't try it. I wasted, you know, a lot of time actually doing that initially. Also, guys, don't forget your linking book. Don't forget your stand. Bring some cobble with you or something like that so you can create a roof over your head. So if there's any like rain or snow, because your book will actually take damage from snow and rain and different things like that, different weather effects. Lightning, yes, your book will burn and then you will have none. But regardless, bring a linking book with you. I'm warning you, if you post in the comments that you screwed up, I'm going to laugh at you and say, I told you. So, anyways, guys, if you like any part of this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in order, you know, if you like uh, content like this and you'd like to see more content like this. And again, I am Headwoon. This is In Game with Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Unleash. This is Mr. Mist craft ages and as always we'll see you next time